This is lesson 7.1, Ratios and Proportions. Your objectives are to write ratios and to write and solve proportions. A ratio is a comparison of two quantities by divisions. The ratio A to B, where B is not zero, can be written as A over B or A colon B. And just like it says in that little sentence there, it can also be written simply A to B. So any of three ways to write the ratio. Number one, in the 2007 Major League Baseball season, Alex Rodriguez hit 54 home runs and was at bat 583 times. What is the ratio of home runs to the number of times he was at bat? Well, home runs is 54, and he was at bat 583 times. So 54 over 583. If that could reduce, we would reduce it, but this does not reduce. Number two, there are 182 girls in the sophomore class of 305 students. What is the ratio of girls to total students? Well, there's 182 girls and there's 305 total students, so 182 to 305. Number four, the ratio of the sides of a triangle is 8 to 15 to 17. Its perimeter is 480 inches. Find the length of each side of the triangle. Well, 8 to 15 to 17 is reduced. So we need to unreduce that. When it was reduced, each of those terms was divided by the same number. So let's go back and multiply each of those by some number. And we'll call it x, since we don't yet know what it is. So really, this ratio could be in the form 8x to 15x to 17x. Those are the sides of the triangle. If the perimeter is 480 inches, then those side lengths would add up to get 480. When the 8, 15, and 17 are multiplied by whatever x is, that will go back to giving you the original side lengths. So we can then make the equation 8x plus 15x plus 17x equals 480. And again, we got that by unreducing the ratio. Unreducing it takes it back to the original value. We solve that for x, combine like terms, and you get 40x equals 480. Divide by 40, and x equals 12. So if x is 12, the original side links will be each of those numbers times the 12. 8 times 12 is 96, and that's inches. 15 times 12 is 180 inches, and 17 times 12 is 204 inches. So you had to unreduce the ratio by multiplying by some number x Then make your equation where those side links add up to the perimeter. Find x and then substitute back in. Use properties of proportions. A statement that two ratios are equal is called a proportion. In the proportion a over b equals c over d, where b and d are not zero, the values a and d are the extremes, and the values b and c are the means. In a proportion, the product of the means is equal to the product of the extremes, so AD equals BC. This is the cross product property. So when two ratios equal each other, we will cross multiply to solve it. Solve each proportion. Number one, one half equals 28 over X. Well, this is two ratios that equal each other, so we will cross-multiply. 
1 times x equals 2 times 28. 1 times x is x, and 2 times 28 is 56. So you're finished. To solve a proportion, cross multiply. Number 2. 3 over 8 equals y over 24. To solve the proportion, cross multiply. 8 times y equals 3 times 24. 8 times y is 8y. 3 times 24 is 72. Divide both sides by 8. And y equals 9. Number 3. x plus 22 over x plus 2 equals 30 over 10. So we'll do 10 times x plus 22. And remember to put the x plus 22 in parentheses. Since it's a polynomial there with adding or subtracting, it's still 10 times the whole thing. So remember to put it in parentheses. And that equals 30 times x plus 2. And the x plus 2 also goes in parentheses. It's 30 times the whole thing. So now solve. Distribute. 10 times x is 10x. 10 times 22 is 220. Equals 30 times x is 30x. And 30 times 2 is 60. Now get the x's on one side. We'll subtract 10x from each side to get the x's on the right. So 220 equals 20x plus 60. Subtract 60 from each side. And you get 160 equals 20x. Then divide each side by 20. And x equals 8. Just remember, when you have a quantity like x plus 22 or like x plus 2, remember to put those in parentheses when you cross multiply because it's the 10 times the whole x plus 22, and it's 30 times the whole quantity x plus 2. Number 7. If three DVDs cost $44.85, find the cost of one DVD. Well, we can set up a proportion here. Just make sure that it's organized. We're dealing with the number of DVDs and the cost of it. So we can make a proportion, the number of DVDs divided by the cost equals the number of DVDs divided by the cost. And now we'll put each situation into each fraction. Three DVDs over the cost 44.85 would then equal one DVD over the unknown cost. So that's where X goes. But just make sure it's organized. In this case, DVDs over cost equals DVDs over cost. So solve the proportion by cross multiplying. 3 times X equals 44.85 times 1, which is just 44.85. Divide both sides by 3, and x is $14.95. Organize the proportion and solve by cross-multiplying.